Hi everybody, uh, welcome to this video from Sonoran Desert Institute. My name is Jared and let's talk about some of the characteristics of different rings and mounts that you're gonna see to mount a scope to a gun. I've got a bolt action rifle laying out here in front of me here. Um, the interesting thing about this ring and mount system is that the ring and mount are one piece ring and mounts. So you actually take the lower ring and mount this directly to the receiver and then the upper ring goes over the top of the scope. Um, much more solid system, however, drawback here is that we have to, to dismount the scope um, to dismount the rings. So, uh, very solid system, great way to do it, uh, keeps that, that scope nice and close to the firearm um, and gives you a good solid position to shoot from, but again, we don't have uh, different pieces to chain heights, that kind of thing, we have to change the whole system to change anything out. Let's talk about some of the other rings that are out there though. Uh, I've got another set of rings. Uh, this is a standard dovetail front ring with a windage adjustable back. Okay. Uh, one thing that to notice about this dovetail is that it's actually pushed for an offset. So I've got about an inch of an offset from the dovetail. The way these lock in place is you set this ring in place and then rotate it 90 degrees and that locks the ring into the base. So the base has a, do a rotary dovetail cut in it. Uh, this rear ring for this set actually has notches. You've got windage screws that, that engage the notches and we can actually push this ring on the base back and forth um, to adjust for windage which saves our movement in our scope um, because we're taking up that movement in the ring itself. These are a great system. Uh, I will say the one thing that, that I, I dislike about these uh, offset ones is that this plate is a little thin here and so too much torque and you can have some issues. Uh, the other version that you'll see of that is actually with the dovetail on the bottom of the, the ring itself, and those are a nice rock solid mount. So um, if you need the extra space, great, um, but if not, if you can get them right over the top of the, of the uh, mounts, that's great as well. Um, the next one that I've got here is actually one of those dovetailed fronts. Um, what you'll notice with this though, this is actually designed to be a one inch ring system, um, but they actually use inserts. Um, to take up some of the space on the, the scope itself. So you've got these plastic inserts that sit inside the ring um, to help give us a little more clamping power on the scope. Um, kind of a novel idea, but you know, if I can get uh, ring to scope engagement, probably gonna work a little bit better. Uh, the final ring here, and these are not all the style of rings, but you'll see some of the problems you can commonly um, look at and, and figure out what you're looking at from a scope. Uh, or ring possibility. But what we've got here is we've got uh, a simple uh, wrap over ring. Um, it's got a hook and uh, hook assembly that lines up here and a couple of screws. The drawback here is that for us to pull these tight, what we're actually doing is putting tension on the scope this direction as we tighten the screws down. What that tends to do, and you've got to be careful of using these, they're still a good system, okay? But what that tends to do is cant the scope as you tighten these rings up. So oftentimes we have to start with our scope just a little bit off of center and bring it into center as we tighten the rings down. So we want to get, um, remove any cant of the reticle to the, the bore. Um, this makes it a little more difficult if you don't know what you're doing or aren't thinking about it when you go to mount these rings. Super lightweight, really easy. These actually have a, a quick detach um, ability here on the bottom so we can actually take the scope with the ring still mounted right off the bases. So you get some advantages with this, um, but there's also some disadvantages. None of it can't be overcome. I've seen lots of, of rifles with these types of rings on it do really well at, at exceptional ranges. Uh, you just got to be careful about how you set that system up. So that's just a quick tour through some of the, the rings um, that you find out in the industry and some of those uh, positives and negatives that you'll uh, encounter as you use these different ring systems. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, jump on and subscribe to our channel and look for other videos with this type of content coming out soon.